New tonight from the ABC 7i team, one of Chicago's most infamous mob figures from the past seven decades is dead. John Nonos DeFranzo, dying at the age of 89. He was the head of the outfit until Alzheimer's claimed him. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Howdy joining us tonight. Chuck has details. Kathy, John DeFranzo was a cool character, one of mobdom's central casting players right down to the toothpick. And DeFranzo was the original Teflon Don long before John Gotti in New York. Despite dozens of arrests during his 70-year criminal career, he never got nailed for gangland killings and managed to avoid long prison sentences. As the I-Team first reported last night, he even escaped the violent end of life that many of his contemporaries did not. How was the meeting? What meeting? Even into his 80s, John DeFranzo could think on his feet, denying that this meeting he had just left had even occurred, a weekly roundtable of mob bosses that the I-Team had under surveillance for a report entitled Lunch with No-Nos. DeFranzo's nickname was one of the outfit's most puzzling because through the years he appeared to have both nostrils. But this 1950 police photo seen here for the first time explains the mob moniker No-Nos. His proboscis mangled after a shootout a few months earlier during a Michigan Avenue burglary when he leapt through a plate glass window. DeFranzo, well liked by big bosses Sam Carlisi and Anthony Joe Batter Zaccardo, seen here with no nose in undercover FBI photos. I would say that um, John DeFranzo was no Tony Accardo. Now, of course, they're, they're working during different time periods. It's one thing to be leading an organization when it's you know, growing in it at its peak, and it's another thing to be leading an organization when it's clearly declining. Conspicuously, DeFranzo was not indicted in the 2005 Operation Family Secrets case. Mobologists figured he would be first charged in the sequel to Family Secrets, which never came. I think about Nick Calabrese saying that DeFranzo was there when they killed the Spalacho brothers. That's one thing I do remember. Are you concerned that, uh, no, that no, you may I'm end up in uh, Family no. Secrets too? No, I'm not concerned at all. All right. Nice talking to you. DeFranzo always claimed to be a car salesman. His outfit associates were more likely to call him Johnny Bananas than No-Nos, although on one famous FBI undercover tape, a mob lieutenant is seen putting his finger to his nose when referring to DeFranzo, so eavesdroppers apparently wouldn't hear the boss's name mentioned. Quite a character. Chapter closes. Yep. All right, Chuck, thanks. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.